This map shows the seismic hazard zones of the United States. The colors of this map are those areas that have a particular seismic hazard. This is a map that the U USGS produces, and it goes into the creating the building codes. So where we have the higher seismic hazards, we have the stronger building codes. And we have, as you can see, there's a, there's a zone of hazard, the red colors that run right up the west coast of the United States all the way to the Canadian border. We actually have our own Chilean earthquake or Sumatra earthquake lurking off the coast. There's a zone from about Northern California past Oregon, Washington, up into British Columbia that is a subduction zone. It's where the plates are colliding together as they are off the west coast of South America. And there's the potential for an eight, eight and a half, or even a magnitude nine earthquake there that would cause substantial shaking in a tsunami. And so, of course, in, in that part of the country, we need to be preparing for large amounts of shaking and preparing the coast to be able to uh, warn the citizens in case there would be a wave coming at some point in the future. I noticed though, Mike. There was a shaker this morning in LA. It was felt all the way south to San Diego. The earthquake measured a 4.4. It was said to have originated as much as 10 miles beneath the Earth's surface. No major damage was reported beyond the unscheduled wake up call for a lot of people at 4.04 a.m.